guys, welcome back to our state's pennant wrap. Uh, here we are at the BPL. Uh, be sure to tune in um, this week uh, live on Foxtel. Um, I'll just go through all of our uh, Saints scores from the weekend and give a brief preview of the weekend to come as per normal. So we'll start off a little bit different this week. We'll go from the sevens and right up through the ones. So our mighty sevens this week hosted Guildford Leagues. Uh, great game this one. Got the pleasure of watching this most of the way. Uh, quite a few lead changes. Uh, we're down by 10, up by 10, down by 10. Um, a strong finish courtesy of Michael Cousins rink, uh, scoring a 5, 4 and a 3 in the dying ends. Uh, helped us out with a 64 to 60 win, 8-2. Uh, uh, Carl Muller's rink having the big win uh, on the day. And on the back of that, his lead, Joe as a party getting the best on green. So right under the mighty sevens. Next week, they travel away to Belfield. Uh, so the sixes uh, were away this week to Mount Lewis. Uh, they came up with a 62 to 51, 9 1 win. Uh, Jack Rapola getting the best on green. Uh, next week they travel, uh, sorry, next week they host Keppervale Diggers. Um, it is top two in the section in grade six, so uh, a win there would go a hell of a long way uh, to securing that. Grade five travelled away to Cabramatta. Uh, unfortunately, we went down in this one 56 67 1 9. Um, Nelson Evans uh, got, the, uh, got the best on green, and next week we did get uh, to have the bye. Grade 4 hosted Cabramatta in uh, quite a big game considering the context of uh, how uh, Grade 4 is going. Uh, great performance this one, jumped out of the blocks and ended up hosting a 67-250 9-1 win. Uh, the birthday boy on its 18th birthday, Daniel Ford getting the best on green. Uh, next week we travel away to Lidcombe. Uh, likewise, this one is top 2 in the section play finals. So a win against Lidcombe next week would go a hell of a long way to securing that. Grade 3 travelled away to Reesby Workers and unfortunately went down 56-59, 1.5 to 8.5 loss. Uh, George Backlick getting the best on green there. Next week we travel away to Padstow. Uh, grade 2 had the buy this week, so next week we take on Matt Lewis at home. Uh, it's all happening in Grade 2. Uh, we take on Matt Lewis this week and then Cabramatta in the following week. So basically we need to win both games and then get uh, a result to go away in the final one to get through for the flag. So good luck to our twos. And uh, moving on to grade one, uh, double header this week for grade one. Friday night saw us travel away to Terran Point and come home with a 65-56-9-1 win. Uh, best on green went to Dorney Heyman. And uh, on Maryland, Saturday morning, uh, we, we traveled, so we hosted Maryland's at home and unfortunately had our first loss of the season, 55-56, one and a half, eight and a half. And uh, the best on green was Dorney Heyman again, making it uh, three in a row. So I just got Dorney here now if you want to come in, Dawn. Um, so you played uh, quite a few games, obviously, for our ladies over the last couple of years. This is the first time you've played the Open Metro pennant. Uh, three out of four best on greens. You must be pretty happy with your, uh, with your form. Yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's something different. The guys are really welcoming, so I'm really enjoying playing with Ryan Bester and the crew. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to tell you, Dawn's been a massive gain for us, um, playing exceptionally well. Uh, so next week, um, next week we take on North Mead at North Mead at 12:30. Uh, another big game, as they all are. Um, but in the meantime, guys, if you want to tune into the BPL live on Foxtel from 5 p.m. tonight, uh, we've got obviously Dorney playing for Perth, myself for the Sydney Lions, and Ryan Bester for Murray. So make sure you tune in. Otherwise, uh, good bowling, and we'll see you on the weekend. Thank you.